Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the colors from one picture and create an LUT and so that you can use it on as many other pictures as you'd like later on. Someone asked about how to do this in the comments of another one of my videos and I tried to explain it, but I decided to make a quick video showing it because I thought that would be easier. So first you open up the picture you want to take the colors from. I got this one off of Pixabay. This other one we're going to use in a minute, but so we're just going to use this one. And then we're going to use the gradient map. Now I don't know how anyone else does this, but this is the way I came up with and it works for me. So you can come down here and click on adjustments and go to gradient map. Or you can come up to layer and do a new adjustment layer and gradient map. You can find it there too. Oh, disappeared, all right. And now you want to take the gradient map layer and you want to drag it below the picture that you're taking the colors from. Now when I use the gradient map, I usually use the reds for shadows, the greens for midtones, and the blues for highlights. I use it a lot. It's pretty much the only thing I do when I'm doing composites and I want to make one picture blend better with the other. I, I use a gradient map. And I have a video about that. If you want to watch it, I'll put the link to the in the description below. All right, let's start with the shadows. Just click on the dot and then come down here where it says color and click on that and then grab the eyedropper and pick a shadow color. Doesn't matter what one. And then come up here to the circle next to the eyedropper here and just click it. And that's your new shadow color. And then we do the same for midtones. We'll just pick an orange, click on that, and then highlights. Same thing. We'll just, oops, first we have to click on it. And then we'll drag it over and just pick a light color. And we don't have to do only three. You can do as many as you want. Let's say we wanted to get some of these reds in there too. So we'll just add another dot and do the same thing. Drag the eyedropper over and add a red. And we can add another dot and drag this over, add one of these bluish colors that we wanted. You can do whatever you want. You can add as many dots or as few dots as you want. You can arrange them so you have more of one color, less of another, however you feel like doing it. All right. And then we're going to go up here to File, Export LUT. And the only thing that is going to export is this one layer here. So don't do anything else. If you have other adjustment layers, they will go with it. So you don't want to have those. You only want this one layer. And we're going to move the quality. I move it all the way up and then export. And then you want to put it somewhere on your computer where you can find it. We're going to overwrite this one because I made this one earlier. We called it sunset. Click save. And now you have it. So we're going to come in and we're going to delete that. We're going to delete that. And here's another image of some mountains and we're going to add our LUT. So all we do is you come up here to layer, new adjustment layer, and then LUT. And then you can click load LUT, click on the one you've got, and there it is, it loads it up for you. Now from here, you can change the blend mode. You can do whatever you want, just play around with it change the opacity, anything you want. Now, if you want to add it to your library, you click add preset. We'll give it a name. Click OK. And now when you, yep, now when you open up the LUTs from the adjustments in the future, if you come over here, um, it, it's got it on here twice because I did it before, but you just click that. Let's try it. Let's go back to layers delete that. Okay, so now we'll go to adjustments, the adjustments tab and LUT and just there it is. Just click on it. You can use it on any picture you want. So that's how easy it is to take color from one image and use them on any other and use it on any other images that you like. So I hope that was helpful. And thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more.